It's wide receiver day here on the Hill, and Maryland transfer wide receiver Nigel King got here at the 11th hour, arrived in town August 6th, but he's already found time to make it to second string on the depth chart and to already become a coach's pet. I mean, he was in the meeting this morning, and he had no problem saying, wait, wait, wait hold on, I don't understand. Can we do that again? Like, he didn't feel you intim like that. I love that. A lot of times players don't like asking questions because they think that it makes them look dumb. And he's, he'll, he'll, he'll ask any question. Now, hold a second, Coach Kisa, to explain this to me again. I do that just to be sure that I know what I'm doing because I don't want to get out in the field and make, this, uh, make a mistake that he went over in the meeting room. So I just want to make sure I know. King led Maryland with four touchdown catches a year ago, the same number of TD catches KU wide receivers had as a group. Second and goal, keeps over the middle, touchdown! The catch Justin by McKay. Justin McKay. Of course, touchdown catches can only happen with a catch. I'm hoping that that I can catch the ball. And eliminating drops has been a point of emphasis in the offseason for KU. I only can claim for what I do, and yeah, I have dropped. I dropped the ball sometime. I'm human. Yeah, that just comes down to concentration. That's not X's or O's or anything. That's just mm -hmm. us focusing more and looking the ball all the way in and tucking it. I think there's a lot of uh, people that, that neglect the technique part of it, and they kind of take it for granted. And so I just kind of light, kind of bring that out and, and show them, hey, there's a correct way of how you place your hands. And then obviously focus comes into it. Every day he asks us, how do we catch the ball? And uh, most receivers will say your hands, but he always focuses, he always says the eyes. You catch the ball with your eyes first and then your hands. Nick Harwell is also a D1 transfer wide receiver who produced so much at Miami of Ohio that he's on the Bolitnikoff Award watch list. If you haven't heard of him, you've probably heard him. Yeah, he talks a lot of trash. <laughs> I definitely say he has a lot of energy, that's for sure. When I get excited, I start to talk a lot, and I'm one of the offense guys who like to talk smack, so kind of different than all the other offense guys. You know, got a defensive personality. New guys and returners alike can't stop talking about the new spread offense. Spread offense, person like me with speed, I mean, I love it. It just gives us a, more of a chance to get the ball in our hands. More of a chance to give um, all of our guys to get on the field, four, three, or three of us on the field at the same time, and maybe even five, who knows. Nigel understands that perfectly. I know we didn't pass much in the different offenses, a different offense this year, so that was one of the reasons for me coming here. That's what any wide receiver would want. For Jayhawk Insider, I'm Mick Schaefer.